Thousands of people turned out at a Taiwanese Buddhist temple outside of Johannesburg to usher in the Chinese calendar's Year of the Dragon. The Taiwan-based Buddhist order called Fo Guang Shan built this temple, but the divisions between Taiwan and China are nowhere to be seen during this Lunar New Year celebration. Erwin Pan is a fourth-generation Chinese South African and chairman of the Chinese Association in South Africa's Gauteng province. I think the one unifying factor here for many of the Chinese that come from all around the world, whether it was Taiwan, China, Hong Kong, local Chinese, it's really they have the common, uh, common ground of being here in South Africa. And so it's actually become very, very united. Many Chinese migrants came to South Africa in the late 1800s and early 1900s because of Johannesburg's gold rush. Then, in the 1980s and 90s, Taiwanese came and set up textile and garment factories. More people from mainland China migrated to South Africa when Beijing opened its doors to the world in the early 2000s. They kept coming as part of Chinese President Xi Jinping's 2013 Global Infrastructure Policy, the Belt and Road Initiative. There is no official census data, but Pan says there are some 10,000 local Chinese South Africans. He says that number goes up to an estimated 200,000 to 300,000, when including expatriate Chinese and business people temporarily in the country. Daniel Li, born in South Africa, has parents from Taiwan. It's Chinese New Year. There's no segregation between mainland and Taiwanese. It's all a, it's a cultural thing which we share the same culture of. Howard Su was also born in South Africa to parents from China's Fujian province. Su says there may be tensions between China and Taiwan, but religion can transcend that. The politics is definitely a very tough question to answer. But what's incredible is uh, religion, Buddhism, has brought everyone together and is, is in despite of their race, in, the, in despite of their like, politics, you know, um, everyone is like a big family here. This Taiwanese temple's local drum and dance troupe even performed for China's president when he paid a state visit to South Africa last year, says performer Simangale Chaoke. So Xi Jinping said to us, uh, where did, where did, we like, did we learn Chinese drum? Do you understand? And then we told him, and then he said, uh, this uh, drumming, Chinese drumming is used to celebrate like events or anything like that. Or when they have, back, back in the days when they had war, they used to play the drums. Some people worry the drums of war might once again be starting up, especially after a presidential candidate not preferred by China won Taiwan's elections last month. But tens of thousands of kilometers away in South Africa, Distance and time have brought harmony among the children of the people from mainland China and Taiwan. Kate Bartlett for VA News, Broncos Spruit, South Africa.